Tonight, City Hall versus Music Hall. Right now, both sides talking about a lease agreement worth big bucks. Night News reporter Tony Moronis explains why supporters of the historic building potentially want $48 million from the city and why the mayor is saying no. Clyde and Carroll, Music Hall had a lease agreement drafted up and gave it to the mayor on Friday so it could be presented to city council today. The mayor said not in such a short amount of time period, and he also said no to the terms in the contract. Music Hall backers showed up to city council today to show support for a lease that was drafted and given to the mayor. We're out here because the future of, the, of Music Hall is in question. We need the city's leadership to step forward, match the philanthropic community, and uh, invest in a facility that needs attention. The city owns Cincinnati Music Hall, and according to one of the tenants, the building needs some major fixes. 40 to 50 million dollars in immediate capital needs, mechanical, electrical, plumbing. These systems are well beyond their useful life. If Since the original agreement in 1876, there's always been a clause that says when the city of Cincinnati contracts with someone to manage Music Hall, they are required to maintain it, not the city of Cincinnati. Mayor Mark Mallory maintains the city is willing to give 10 million dollars to help renovate the facility. That's it. Not a possible 38 million, the mayor says, could also be requested. We're being asked to give the building away and also give up millions and millions of dollars and guarantee that they will get millions of dollars if they don't get money from other sources. I can't agree to that. The mayor says that there really shouldn't be a hurry to get a lease agreement signed. After all, both parties have been working together on this one piece of property since 1876. Tony Moronis, 9 News, Music Hall. All right. Thanks a lot, Tony. And